and welcome one and all back to the Valley in the Shady. Here with a man named Jack, and we are still playing Marble It Up. This is the Olympus map. It's possibly my favorite map in the game. There's one other similar to it early on that's easier. This one's just awesome. As you see, that gold time is 3 minutes, 7 seconds, and 50 milliseconds. My... Like, I, I didn't clear the level my first time. I just kept restarting until I got close. And as you can see, the difference between a close time and my successful run is massive. So here's what you want to do. Um, as always, you gain speed in midair, I think. All I know is if you hold forwards and hold jump, you will accelerate on a flat ground. And that trick is multiplied if you take it on a slope like this. So this is, this is just downhill. Just big, heavy, hard, fast, downhill. And the thing about this level is that the timer is not very strict. As you saw, I demolished the timer by almost a full minute. So getting down quickly isn't the problem. Getting down without dying is the problem. Because if you die, you lose a good 20-ish seconds. So it... The keep that back button fresh. The back or select button on a gamepad is the shortcut to restart the level, and you're gonna be pressing it a lot. I wish there was a fast reset to nearest checkpoint, because that would be really, really nice, but it would also make this game a lot easier. Also, if you notice, I stopped jumping there so I could get some time on the ground to try to redirect my momentum away from that pit and then i'm back to just holding forwards holding jump we're gonna oh god we're gonna have to go over this over yeah sometimes you can't avoid the pit and you just have to go for it and hope you got enough speed to make it over and this is no 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 not like this okay this is a no don't you dare this is actually a decent run so you can control your marbles inertia and midair a small amount not a terrible much, but you can kind of save yourself from going off the edge. Oh god, I'm just holding hard left that entire time. So once you get going fast, it gets a little bit difficult to control your marble, which is why I love this level. And I'm really sad there are only two levels of this style. This is the harder one. Probably should have started with the easier one, but it's too late now. This is actually a pretty good run that I'm having. I haven't died yet, which, you know, that's the goal. Ah, fuck! I had to open my big fat fucking mouth. Damn everything. And you know what's funny? A successful... I don't know if that 220 run was deathless or near deathless, but it's only 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That's not a long time, but it feels like such a long time in level like i can't exp i cannot explain it mm, going speedy oop gonna go right no hang on can i like race my ghosts or something race replay yeah that'll be fun oh that's right that's what i did you don't jump at the start, and then you jump off this slope. That, yeah, you get out the gate much faster with that. Also, it saved which color ball I was when I set the gold record. Or, my personal record. So that's really cool. I'd forgotten that ghost feature was a thing. Whoop. Yeah, I got a bad bounce there, and as you can see, ghost me got a really good bounce. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm alive. Like, I lost a lot of time there, but if you survive, keep rolling. Just because, as, as mentioned, the margin of error for... Fuck. The margin of error for this course, if you don't die, is massive. Like, it is incredibly forgiving if you do not lose time to deaths. So we're just gonna, you know, keep trying that. And I could time skip forwards with this, but then the video would only be like two minutes long and 
don't know, I'm not about that. I'm more about the girthy, hour-long behemoths, but you know that. If you're watching me play with my balls, then you already know what kind of content I like. <laughs> you already know what I fuck. You know what I fuck. If I get to the 10 minute mark, I might speed through a number of attempts to one where I make it. Just to, you know. It's actually... Fuck. Like, that was a really fast run up until I got a bad bounce there. You know, I don't think I realized how fast I was going downhill in that run. I was blazing it. Oh, and I trick jumped off that left rock. Yeah, that's in that's in my ghost now. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a good run. But as mentioned, it took a while to get there. There are some runs where I trick jump off that right rock in that thing there. That's usually fun, but it's always panic inducing when I do cuz A you lose a lot of time for it and B you if you are at the point where you have to do that, you're really not terribly in control of your ball. Also, I like the ball spinning so fast that the graphics are kind of wigging out. This is that's at, am I recording at 60 frames per second? I'm not. I'm doing it 30. I wonder what this looks like at 30, because at 60, it's just wigging the fuck out. It's just blinking everything. Simon says, do what Jack tells you. Oh, oh yeah, get a good... Man, this, you know what this level reminds me of? There was an app, a long, like in the early days of smartphone, there was an app that was really popular where you had a bird and you were, like, you had to hit, you had to dive down on the down slopes and then jump on the up slopes. And it was a game about just keeping your momentum. Uh, no, no, no! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna take the death and just roll with it because I'm close. And I think I can still recover this. But yeah, this reminds me of that. It's just all about preservation of momentum. No, not, not again. Not twice in a row. Okay, I made it over that gap. Oh no, not this gap too. Okay. So, yeah, that was a deathless run that I made in the 220. Or if it, it wasn't deathless, I think I had one death right here, which I avoided this time. So, one death for the run. I'll take it. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. When your rotations per second matches up with your frames per second. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Am I going to make it? Oh god, am I gonna- um, I'm gonna make it. So yeah, that was not a PB. My PB actually got the diamond time for this level, which I'm pretty proud of that. So yeah, that's that level. Um, I haven't hit the 10 minute mark yet, so I may as well go find the big easy. Yeah, this was the other one and the easier one. And the same, how fast is too fast? Nothing is too fast. Speed is key. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Race replay. There we go. Let's see if I can make a new PB. Oh, that PB was before I knew about the jump buffering trick, wasn't it? Oh, it definitely- Oh, I'm gonna crush my PB. Oh, I'm gonna fucking crush it. Oh, I'm gonna crush it. Yeah, this is the same concept, just in a straight line without the pitfalls, and if you just hold forwards and hold jump, you'll make it. Ooh, the speed! Woo! I actually only made that a second or two early. Not even a second, a half second early. So yeah, that is Big Easy and what was it? Olympus. Gold times for Big Easy and Olympus. The next one I'm gonna do is gonna be, what was it, Head in the Clouds? I might do Head in the Clouds. That was a fun one to gold. I might do, oh God, Danger Zone. Danger Zone is a fucking trial. Getting gold on this level will separate the professional players from the ones who are not professional. Some of these levels, like this one, it's about memorizing the, opti the optimal route. 
This one is about how good are you at this game. Radius? Rhea? Ooh, I never made gold for this level? I might go back and try to make gold for this level, too. Head in the Clouds was another technical one. Cedripital Force was pathing. Escalation? Fuck that level. And Confluence? Heavy fuck this level. Oh god, I hate- I hated this level. But yeah, that'll be next video when I see you right here at the Stroke of Midnight.